Hi, this is Christy Melton. I'm a Principal Solutions Engineer for Business Development, and I'm going to go over how to configure QRadar to receive security and access logs from F5 Distributed Cloud using the Global Log Receiver. To start, we will need to download the content pack from IBM's XForce App Exchange. From there, we'll log into QRadar. Now that we've downloaded the content pack, we need to go to the Admin tab. Then from there, we'll go to Extensions Management. We'll click Add, and we'll browse to the location of the file. We'll click Install Immediately, then click Add. We'll want to replace existing items. Click Install again and then click OK. From here, let's add F5 Distributed Cloud as a log source. So we'll click Log Sources, we'll click Launch, Log Sources in the upper right, click New Log Source. single log source, look up F5, okay, distributed cloud, HTTP receiver, we'll give it a name, verify it's enabled, we'll drop that extension, disable coalescing events, Okay, we'll give the log source identifier a name. Notice communication is HTTPS, TLS is 1.2. Port number, we'll choose 12477 and test. Okay, then moving on. We'll need to deploy the changes since we added a new log source. From here, let's jump into the CLI of QRadar. We're trying to find the root cert that will be necessary for the distributed cloud configuration. It's fairly easy to find. It's just a matter of drilling down to that uh, location and copying it on a notepad so that we can paste it in later. We'll capture everything with the dashes. Save that to notepad. All right, let's hop over to Distributed Cloud. So once logged in, find the Shared Configuration tile, Manage, and then Global Log Receiver. And we're going to add a Global Log Receiver here. We're going to give it a name. Uh, this will be for the security logs. We can give it a description. We'll give it HTTPS. Under Log Type, we're going to choose Security Events. You can have current namespace, all namespace, or a specific namespace. We'll choose all. Scroll down to the QRadar instance here. Log source, the IP address of QRadar, and then the port number that we previously configured into QRadar, 12477. But it can be any port number, just as long as it matches. We'll go to the advanced fields, toggle. Scroll down. We need to enable TLS here. Okay, we're going to skip verify server certificate as well as server host name. And under trusted CA, this is where, we'll, where we will paste in from the notepad our previously captured root cert from QRadar. Yep, and then we'll leave mutual TLS disabled, save and exit. 
And then we're going to clone this object to uh, make it easier on ourselves when we go to um, configure the access or request logs. So it's the same configuration. We're just changing the uh, request portion and save and exit there. All right, let's go to log activity and see if we can see some distributed cloud logs coming in. It may take a few minutes, it always has for me, but not too long. Okay, yep, there's a few. All right, let's try and capture those only. So we'll put a little filter on here just to specify the log source as F5XC. All right, add the filter. Okay, there we go, filter added, and you can see all the logs coming into Distributed Cloud now. And that's it. That's how we add the parsing and mapping for Distributed Cloud into QRadar. Thanks for watching. Bye.